Hi guys, August 8th, 2023. Getting you guys set up. It is still super chilly. Not as chilly as it was. All right, there we go. It is dry. Okay, we have to hurry. Mommy has to go potty. All right, watch out. This way. Uh, we are at, or going to Art 321. Three, two, one. 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 Alright, and we have to use the... That's, I think that is a restaurant. I don't know what the, Yeah, that's a restaurant. That's a pizzeria. Oh, goodness. And then this is a crosswalk. So we are going on the crosswalk, which is what we are supposed to do. Instead of just randomly crossing the street. So it has the little lines. Cha! And we turn and we put cha. And we turn again and we put cha. Open the door. Yes, that is cool. All right. Here we are. Hello. Hello. How's it going today? Good. How are you? Good. What are we up to? Uh, first time here. You don't really know. <laughs> oh, okay. Um, are you just coming to check it out or were you interested in the class? Uh, both? I don't know. We have no okay. idea. It was on the little passport thing, so she chose it. Oh, okay. So this half is our gallery, that half is our gift shop. Okay. Um, pretty much everything that's in here is done by Casper artists. Okay. Which is pretty cool. There's a lot of talent in our community. And then today oh, we have perfect. a ceramics class happening right now. Okay. Um, it's ten dollars a person. Okay. And it goes until about noon. Okay. Um, but you're welcome to hop in and join. Okay. If you're interested in making some. All right. So we'll we'll look and see. And where's your restroom? Too? Okay. So if you go down that hallway, uh -huh. aim for the garage door, which is all the way to the very back, and it'll be right on your left. Okay. And do you have like um, anything with the different types of classes? Because I don't know if we'll have time today. There, there should say weekly groups. Oh, weekly groups. Okay. I think. Yeah, because okay. didn't, they didn't have that on the um, the little thing, so I didn't even know. Okay, so from 10 until noon. Yeah. And, oh, that's one of Tuesdays. And then did you bring yeah, your yeah. passport with you? Uh, have, you done, have you done it yet? In we here? haven't done anything with it. We just, like, a, a lot of the places we saw it, but, like, we didn't look at it or anything, so we don't even know what we're okay. <laughs> doing with it, honestly. Oh, that's okay. If you have suggestions, we're open to suggestions, though. Yeah, so if you just take it around with you to the different museums, they all have a little clue mm -hmm. or something you're supposed to find inside the museum. And then once you get a signature from all of them, you just turn it in, and then uh, you're entered in to win a prize. Oh, okay. Yeah. So we will have to... We went to the I Dinosaur have, Museum. I should have some passports over there. Okay, if yeah. If you want to... Yeah, um, we went so to you the guys dungeon. are supposed to sign, because we've already been to a bunch of places. Oh. So you guys are supposed to sign it. Especially yeah, somebody's supposed to sign it to verify that you've actually done it. So you might have to do it back then. All right, well then, um, we're going to go potty first, and then we'll okay. look around, and then if I have more questions about the passport, um, and then I'll look at the class. We okay, they all the start. Yeah. How was that one? Amazingly. Oh, cool. <laughs> it's pretty cool, isn't it? What do they have up there, mm -hmm. And what else? What else do they have up? Uh, a T-Rex. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. I forgot about the T-Rex. And they have the cousin of the Triceratops. I think it's called an Allosaurus. Oh, cool. So, there's a bunch of stuff. It was really cool. And, and the also, staff there was awesome, also, too. And also, like, a skull that looks like a... That looks like a gorilla skull, but at the same time doesn't. It's like a giganticus or something. It's like some type of thing that they think is, like, part human, part... Oh. Monkey, chimpanzee, or something. It's huge. It's like this big. That's pretty cool. I yeah, they've only found years. one. 
and it's just the mandible, and then they just hypothesize about the rest of it. So that one we'll probably end up going twice to. Um, and now that we know that we have to, we have to do stuff. I think we might have to like pop in everybody everywhere did that we've been. Did you guys do the Warner? Uh, the way, yes, that's what we did yesterday. Okay. Yeah, we did that one yesterday. We did the waterfall. We've done oh, the waterfall. The yeah, that was, she wants to do that again a second time. I love it. And then, um, the planetarium, I don't know how long the things are because my dad's on a job here, so we just like drove him over. Oh, yeah, yeah. Um, but it says it starts at like, it's like daily showings at four, but it doesn't say how long it is, and I have to drop him off at like six. So, mm. I don't know. But well, we want to do that one too. We just don't know if time wise it's going to work. Yeah, I don't know. I'll give him a call. I haven't been to the planetarium in years. He's yeah, like, it's right by the hotel. It looks really cool. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, <laughs> uh, it is. It's pretty fun. Awesome. Well, we'll but, see you okay, in a little bit. We'll Thank you. you. All right, let's go potties, and then um, we'll look at what classes they have going on, too, okay? Oh, mm hmm Cool. How many else? She said down the hall. Uh, We're down the hall. I think maybe this way. Hi. The, the restroom? Yeah, all the way in the back to your right. Okay, thank you. Sorry, thank you. This is amazing. It is. It's super duper cool. Your brother's wheels on his thing are just totally messing up. All right, go ahead and push that. So this is really cool, and even though we're still in the bathroom, this is made out of concrete, and they would have formed a mold, and then ooh, did this, and then it has an inset right here, and then it has a bracket. Oh, the push button? Go ahead. <clears throat> okay, Charlie, something is up with your wheels today, buddy. Oh, we don't have another phone, so we have no idea what time it is. Wait, hang on. Oh, it's 10.34. Okay. All right. All right, go ahead and go, Izzy. I know, that's really cool. Super duper cool. So we can peruse around and look at this stuff. So this one is called A Simpler Time. Blended Photography 550. That looks like a real life picture. Um, it's a photograph that they manipulated. That's why they say blended photography. Um, and I like it because And then snow fence. This one is blended photography. So this one they printed on campus and then they added paint to it. And we can do some pictures of these. They're cool. They're super duper cool. So do you understand what they mean by blended when they're talking about this stuff now? Hi. Oh my goodness. Mommy. Hmm. This is 
this is just from the point. You know the little uh, tents and stuff? Um, what do you mean? The from a long, long, long time ago. The teepees? Yeah. You're talking about teepees? Yeah, it's a protected teepees. Hold on. Oh, this is where we went. Ah, this is yeah. this is Fort Caspar. It's it's not Caspar though. It's Caspar. Um, so Suzette McIntyre. No, Caspar. Caspar. The actual Fort Caspar. Caspar has an A. Yeah. The city's name is Caspar. Uh, blended photography, nineteen or one hundred ninety-five dollars. So this one is also it's a picture that they put on canvas. This one is really cool. It's beautiful. And then we have this one. This one's called the Bunkhouse. $800. And that's blended photography as well. So it's a photograph that was printed on a canvas. And then they added paints to it. So like Izzy, if you come over here and you look at it, you'll see where like they glossed up some of the paint. They added some texture to it. Um, this one is surrendering to the prairie. And that's a photographer, yeah. photograph. So it's photography. So they just went out, they took a picture, they framed it, that was it. And then we have windswept, which is blended photography. And again, blended means when they mix a picture, they mix things together. So this is a picture that someone took. They flipped all that together. Yes. Uh, and then they added textures to it. So this is something that we could totally do if you want to do this. What? That is, there are only grown-ups in there, for one. Your but brother those are would not do well in there, for two, and the class is already starting for three. So we're gonna peruse around the gallery, and then we'll talk about the other classes and see if one of them interests you. Well, you do them weekly, so if we're still here and you wanna do pottery, it's just we have to think about your brother as well. And so this one is Symphony of Aspen, blended photography again. So this would have been a photograph, and then they turned it into a black and white, and then they laid the colors a little bit, or took the colors out. Okay, hold on. You need to go in order. You want to read this one? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. 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 Springtime on the plains. And this is blended photography, so this, this is in a picture. And then you see how on this one they actually added extras to it. All right, which one were you trying to show? The blue eyes. Okay, so blue eyes. And again, blended photography. So it's a picture, it's a close-up of a horse. And then if you look at the side, we can see those striations that they added different things to the sides of it. And we have snow day, which is also photography. So this was a picture. Photography is pictures. And then blended is multiple things. So then they put it on a canvas and then they added paints to it. Ask me. I like this one. This is really cool. Blended photography again, and then they're changing the colors on it. Which ones do you have? Oh, it won something. So what did they win? So best photography. Western Spirit Jury Art Show on sale. And this one says Wild and Free. Blended Photography, $1,500. And I guess the blended for this one is just that they transposed it onto canvas and they framed it. The dairy, yes. Then <laughs> you have all these guys eating, and then you have this guy, this guy, and they're like, no. Oh, there's another head too. Uh, blended photography, and a lot of these are Suzette McIntyre. Oh, and then yep, there's three of them, and they just they added boy. Probably just one, two, like, three, oh, and this one look. Four. They actually added like little pieces of grass seed to it too. Oh, and there's a hidden one of a tail. They added the tail. Mm -hmm. We have rains. And, and this is just photography. And then we have in the saddle, which is just photography. And then we have saddling up, just It's 
It's what? So what do you think it is before you look at it? Uh -huh. I think that this is like shuts like are going out and then it looks like it's a fire and then we're never and Oh we're never Charlie wants to suck. And then at the bottom, whenever the whenever the horse goes places. The horse's feet are covered and it cycles and that's why I think it's called the unknown because it looks so beautiful and it has so much like design in it. Mm, I agree. And it's a blended photography. <laughs> and then this one. This one is a blended photography. Yes. Mm. And look, they have like, they've added little things to it. Like that's a button that they chiseled out, and then they have like pieces of line or uh, wire, and then some rope, and then they have an extra little snippet right there. And then we have Cafe Cowboy, which is blended photography. So she took a picture, manipulated around here, softened it up, and then probably added some color to it. There's lots of different art forms. The prairie. The prairie. And so why do you think it's blended for this one? Because the horses are real, the house is real. And the house is real. They took a picture and they made it when the house was kicked over and they put it so Well look at the house and tell me if you think that they kicked the house over or if the house is actually kicked over in real life. <laughs> well right like here you can see that they can see that right there. Um but the house actually does look like it's it's, fall, it's it's falling over because it has a it has a piece of wood right here and then this is actually, it's not paint, it's more so where there would have been metal to make it where it would, um, it's part of the pitch of the roof for the rain and stuff. And Charlie, you cannot touch these pictures. All right, and what is this one? Morning song. Okay. So they fade it in the background mm -hmm. and they, and this is a blended photography that means it's real life. Mm -hmm. um, because the bud is real and the branch is real, all they did was made it real, the background is faded in. Okay, now what about the, the little bit of smoke that's puffing out of the birdie's mouth? That is, that is showing that the birdie is cold. So do you think that's real? Or do you think no. they added that? I think they added that. <laughs> Alright, and then what about this one? Uh, they definitely, definitely, um, they definitely... <laughs> okay, what is it called first? Um, uh, when and a I can see why it's called when we are in a barn. Um, blended photography, that means they've got a... Out of your life. <laughs> Funny. You keep doing this weird stuff with your butt. I'm listening, baby. They got it out of real life, and they blended in the backgrounds, and they blended in the... They really blended in a few things, a lot of it, um, a little bit, and the background is so, like, so... I don't know how to say it. It's beautiful how it is.
little mini Casper books for sixteen dollars. The block with the blocks with easels are twenty ninety five. take pictures of sissy <laughs> all right let's move over to something else so he can look at that baby. Let's do this one. What? The what or the what? The session is over. Oh. Do you want to talk about these? I mean, we can try to find something else if you're done here. Couple days, thank you. Uh, yes, let me put your brother in here. Yes, and so it is art. Oh, you know what? You know who is a C? Mm. I mean, cat's also a C. But, Charlie cat. You are a cat. So we have a Charlie cat and we have an Izzy cat. We're going.
going to get a picture of the Charlie cat and the Izzy cat together with the C. Charlie! Charlie! Sissy! Okay. Did you notice the bulbs are all different colors? What? The bulbs are all different colors. Then the bulbs, the walks. Bulbs. See up there? Oh. Purple, that one's burned out. Green, red, orange, purple, burned out. Art 321, Casper's Artist Guild. Oh, maybe. It was supposed to be marketed as like free and Maybe for children was activities. Maybe the supposed to be burned out. Um, I am unsure on that, Izzy. Well, because it makes sense because after thank you. After you said purple, you said burned out, right? Yes. So it's a pattern. It's a pattern? No, 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 no. It's not a pattern. I think it was just an accidental. Like nobody changed the light bulbs thing. It's beautiful in its own way. Okay, it's beautiful in its own way. I love the way you think. Because I try to teach you and your siblings to think of life in a beautiful way. And I'm trying to say, no, it's supposed to be burned out. And you're like, no, it's beautiful. That is a very positive way of thinking. So I'm proud of you for having a positive way of thinking. It's a constructive way to think. Even though it's burned out, it still makes a perfect rainbow. Well, not a perfect rainbow, but it does make a rainbow. Mommy, some things... Some things can be perfect. Uh, like shapes and stuff, but not people. Not people. And what's the definition of a perfect rainbow? All right, come on, crazy it's cat. It's there where whatever color signs are the rainbow or whatever colors are in the rainbow. Because, because you said it's just yourself. Life's oh, you know what? Grab, yeah. grab your brother. Do. You guys can talk to Izzy while I change Charlie's diaper. Izzy, talk to them while I change your brother's diaper. Hello. Good morning. Good afternoon. Uh, we're going to another museum. Please, mommy. Yes, we have to look and see the museums. And if one museum isn't like a class, then we could do that. We don't have bag and sag and bibbies. Oof. Bubby, Here. Alright, take your brother. Hold on, Charlie. Izzy, get your brother. Now, please. Pick him up. Do not roll him like he is a ball. 
He is not a ball. He is a baby. No. I don't know why. He, I don't know why you think you can be mean to him. He is your brother. Okay, again, do not roll him. Pick him up nicely. This is weaponized incompetency. Nicely pick him up. Put him in the back seat, please. You guys wanted to be in the back. Well, you wanted to be in the back of the bus. Do I need to do timeouts? As a, as a 10 year old, do I need to do timeouts with you? Okay. I'm going to pause this and put you in timeout. All right, no timeout. <sighs> Talk to her, and I'm like, why are you doing this? And she's like, because I'm tired. So that means that we are going to find somewhere so that they can take a nap because she cannot treat him that way. It's not appropriate. If people want to get mad at me because I told my child that she was going to get a timeout, what else am I supposed to do? You cannot think that it's okay to treat people that are younger than you or less than you in your mind or whatever thing in a negative way because you have the ability to do so. It's wrong. It's messed up. I don't care if she's 10. I don't care how old she is. I don't care if people get mad at me and say, oh, you are scarring her childhood because you threatened to put her in timeout. It's not appropriate. Just maybe with all these rules and all this stupid stuff, people forgot to how to parent their children. And yes, I'm getting her to put them in the back, him in the back seat, because she wanted to be in the back of the bus. Because normally I put him in the, the middle seat, and she goes in the middle seat, and I caretake him. She wants to be in the back of the bus. She wants to feel like a big girl. She gets big girl responsibilities, because mommies can't do everything. Or the default parents can't do everything. We have to teach responsibility because everyone was doing all this stuff before us. And then because we got so fanciful of being able to take care of our children to the extent of saying, oh, I can get them a vehicle whenever they first are able to drive and I can get them to do this and I can get them to do that. And then like, you just don't teach them anything. You don't teach them any responsibility. And then whenever they have all these issues, so go ahead and raise them that way. Did you raise them? Did you raise them and teach them things? Doesn't seem like it from where I'm sitting. I don't know if this little charty thing's still going. So they're gonna go down for now. I'll let you guys charge. You guys are almost dead. Turn the vehicle on, pull it down, crack the windows, and they're taking a nap. Because Charlie's like super wired. She's super acty outy. And I'm not going to have all that stuff going on. And you guys need to charge, anyways. So I will talk to you guys later. Well, I have to wait for you guys to time out. <coughs> There's probably somebody out there that's like, oh, she's such a bad mom because she threatened to put her child in time out. What did she do whenever you paused the thing? I paused it because I wasn't going to embarrass her. So, whatever. Izzy, did I embarrass you while when I told you that I was going to put you in time out? And when I asked you why you're acting that way, what did you say? I said because I was tired. Mm -hmm. And that's actually true because every time that we wake up, um, me and Charlie are both always tired. 
So I'll probably drive around for a couple minutes so they can probably take a nap. Uh, or Charlie can at least fall asleep and uh, I'll find somewhere for them to be on a nap because they need a nap. She's 10. Some people still need naps. Her body's going through a lot of changes. She's 10. She's got a lot of developing going on. I mean, she's tall. She's a very active person. Like, I feel bad for the children that are in school because they get no drawdown time. That's ridiculous. And they are completely dependent upon whatever schedule their parents have them do. So they can stay up all hours of the night and then they get screamed at to get woken up because they can't go to sleep. So my children get to sleep when they need to sleep. So I'm going to jam out with some music. You guys will get a little bit longer of a video. The Art 321, I feel like it was a bust. I am going to be the grumpy person that says that that artwork is very expensive for what it is. I did not see a lot of effort in that. Shoot. Stupid and pretentious. Scoops right up, it makes a stupid little point. So I go back to their dumb little parking lot so I can check the damage on my truck because I never hit or run over anything. I certainly don't get hung up on things. Mommy's just really tired of people and stuff. Everyone's driving everyone cuckoo. Mommy included. And the trailblazer just we've got injured and not happy. The rest of the parking, no, that, that one got one too. I'd hung up on a metal part of the running board. The trailblazer's fine. It sounded and felt way worse than it was. I don't like her getting damaged. I know she's 20 years old. She's a good girl. She doesn't need to be damaged. All right, music. I'm going to find somewhere to drive. <laughs> You guys work on taking naps, okay? And what are you looking at? You were just what? Oh, I know, but the trailblazer's okay. So try to take a nap and your brother's going. Uh, here, fill up his baba. Okay, alright, give him his baba back. It looked like it was empty from here.
My name is Haynes Johns, and up next, the family dog that stopped a robbery. But the surprising part is how. We all have that.